Hey everybody. Um, first thing I want to say is I'm not sure if this thing is autofocusing correctly, so if it doesn't, I apologize. It's acting up. But this is my EGT. This is my CHT. And I had to figure those guys out because they were not working right. So I came over here, took off my, my probes, my sensors, used a torch, and heated them up one at a time and found out which ones were which over there. And I didn't have, I pretty much didn't have to do nothing over here. I had already soldered these connections and all these connections are still buttoned up. So I just had to remove the probes and heat them with a torch. And I did the same thing with the, the cylinder head temp. I heated those up as well. And so now I finally got them isolated. They're working right. So everything's working on my dash except got to get my hobs done. I'm going to hook it to the master. Okay. Right now there's no battery. Battery's disconnected. But um, yeah, that's this one. As soon as I hit master, fire. So not that you want to see my ugly mug. But yeah, that's pretty much what I've been doing. Today is supposed to be 100 degrees. And up there is a thermometer. It's already almost 90 in here. And what the heck time is it? Uh, 5 minutes to 11 a.m. Almost, a, almost a, well, it is almost, it is damn near 90, I would say. So in any case, I don't think I'm going to be around long. But what I came to do was I came to snip all my wire harness wires because what I got to do is I got to remove this fuse because this was for my pump the fuel pumps that is so that has to get cut out and I have to uh, join this and put a quick connector in there or uh, what do they call it a I think that's what it's called a quick connector but no fuse then I have to take all these wires as you can see, many of them are the same color, and I have to uh, label them. Because the other day when Ron was asking me a bunch of questions about what's what, what's this one for, what's that one for, I couldn't really answer him. And that's because I got so much spaghetti in here. This is, uh, yeah, this is the, uh, the EGT. And this is for the CHT, so I got to button these up, get this thing finally hooked, connected, because that's the, the hot for the hobs, and get this connected to the master. Then I can button all this up again, put on my nose cone, and then that can stay on. So, at this point, I'm going to let you all go, and I'll be back when I got something more to report. Hey everybody, I, last week when I was using the battery to try to start the engine on my Aerolite, I drained it to the point where the LiPo battery wouldn't turn over the starter. So what I'm doing right now is I'm using a balance charger slash a lithium polymer charger, lithium ion, whatever, it's, it's like for all of them and trying to get this battery back up to snuff. But I want to tell you guys a secret. And hold on one second. OK, this battery right here. Let me see if I can get a better focus. No. Okay. Let me see if I can get a better focus. Uh, let me back it out a little bit. Okay. That seems to be a little better. This is a Walmart battery. Everstart. Sealed. AGM. This is the info on top of it. It's 130 cold cranking amps. This battery started my airplane. 
65 bucks for this battery. Over 200 plus for that one. You guys want to save yourself some money? Go to Walmart, get an EverStart AGM, and you won't pay over 100 bucks for it. And I guarantee it'll start your plane. Just saying. We'll be back.